1960, Glenn Wayne Osher was born in Hilbra and one and a half to two years later his family came to stay here at number 18 Stanridge Avenue in Cyril Dean. On one side of 18 Stanridge was Brian and, and uh, Lillian and Walter and yeah, the Rosenthal's Mark. And on the other side was the Megwas, Annette and Brian Megwa, and their two beautiful boys. Wow. I remember the Megwas, they bought their kids little motorbikes to ride on this island. And my dad bought me some plastic golf clubs and I used to play golf on this long island. This is where my golf started. It's amazing. It looks so small now, but when I was small, this island looked quite big. It's got big trees now and all kinds of good memories from this place. I want to just take the opportunity. I'm nearly 62 in September of 2022. It's been almost two years of COVID-19 and I want to thank God that I'm still alive and my family still alive. And I've got another story to tell because 29, at the age of 29, I met Jesus Christ, the Messiah, the Moshiach. I used to hear people say, we want Moshiach now, we want Moshiach now, Moshiach now, Moshiach now, Messiah now. But that now happened for me in the middle of April. 1989, where Moshiach, Yeshua, Jesus, came to me personally in a conference in Dallas, Texas. And God appeared to me and he said, I sent Jesus to come and atone for your sins, to make atonement for your soul. Daniel chapter 9, verse 24 to 27, Isaiah 53, 2 to 12. Genesis chapter 3 verse 15, Leviticus 17, 11, without the shedding of blood, there's no remission of sin. Jesus was led like a lamb to slaughter to pay for our sins. He was cut off the destruction, before the destruction of the second temple, 70 AD. Wow, that's quite amazing. So as I sit here in this beautiful Cyril Dean on the east side of Johannesburg, after just doing a delivery, I just want to recollect my thoughts and say thank you, Lord, for letting me be born. Because my mom and dad, they were always fighting with each other. I remember in this house, there were so much fighting that I couldn't concentrate when I went to school. I went to school with no tuck shop money and no lunchbox. Feet were dirty. I was scared to go to the toilet just across the alley from my room where I sleep. I don't know what that fear was from, but I know that the devil brings fear and confusion and frustration and all kinds of um, demonic things. So at the when I used to jump through the windows and my dad told me my mom's crazy, I would think she's crazy and I would just want to get out of this home and I'd come next door to Brian and Marky, Lillian and Walter, when we first had television in those days and uh, go watch TV there and have supper there. It was almost a normal house, but I used to hear them also fighting. And next door, Annette and Brian, they mostly a good family, but I think they only just had a few fights when Palestine and Israel were fighting. So besides that, I knew that it was a Jewish family, Brian and Marky. And I knew that the uh, Lebanese and a Jewish family were half and half. <laughs> I didn't know what my family were. They said they were kind of Jews. My dad said God lives up there in the heaven, somewhere in the sky. Leave him there and just have positive thinking and use your brain that he's given you. So I wasn't really brought up as a Jewish person. Although when the court stepped in and the Jewish welfare and they said this something not good in this number 18 Stanley Avenue. The neighbors complained, crossed the road, neighbors, and they said, we got to get the welfare here. So 
long story short, the court put us in um, Arcadia Jewish Orphanage, my four precious sisters and I. I'm the firstborn and eldest. And they put my mom in a mental institution in Krugersdorp. And my dad had to come back to this house to rebuild it into a north-facing house with an extra bedroom. And that was just hectic. He lost his one gym as a result of that. And, yeah, at the end of the day, I think if we don't know Jesus, the Messiah, who takes away the devil's curses from our lives, then we're going to just be battling along all the time. So I just want to thank God that whatever bad things I used to do in 18 Stanwich Avenue, Seraldine, playing in the wrong places with my sisters and stealing money from my father's um, cupboard and just being full of torment and confusion. Um, God's forgiven me for all that stuff that I did. And I just want the people that are listening to this to know that God's forgiven me and God wants you to forgive me as well. And God wants to forgive you, whoever's listening. Because if I don't forgive others, their sin against me, then God will not forgive me, my sins. So forgiveness is the most important thing that we can do in life. That's what Jesus Christ is all about. He comes to forgive us our own sin, and then we can go and forgive others that have sinned against us. Thank you, Father God, that everybody will believe that you died for them and that you rose on the third day and you went to heaven to prepare a room for us. Thank you that we can be born again, new creations, and that you will save us and our family in the wonderful name of Jesus. Thank you so much, Father God, for the privilege that I had of having two parents, even though they didn't get on. I came from a poorish background, you know. I had a lot of rage and anger. People used to call me a bloody Jew all the time. And I had to fight them off. It was quite hectic. So I had a lot of anger and rage and hatred and bitterness and confusion building up inside of me. But thank God Jesus took all my headaches and back pains and owing people hundreds and thousands of rands and lies and pornography and adultery and idolatry and running away from paying my TV license and taxes and not obeying the rules of the road, getting drunk. Hey, there was a lot of stuff on my back. The devil was strong with my life for 29 years. But thank God at the age of 29 I met Jesus. Thank you, Father God, for introducing me to Jesus. I pray for my whole Jewish community and all the Muslim community, Ishmael and Isaac, Abraham's sons, and all the Christians that are not yet born again, I hope we will all repent, that we will all know that God loves us so much that he sent our Messi, Messiah, Moshiach, to come and be our Lord and Savior, our Messiah, our anointing, our forgiveness, our love, our joy, and our peace. Bless us, Father God, in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen.